Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I decided that I wanted to do a spread for Watering the Soul by Courtney Pepernell, which is one of my new favorite books of the year. And I really wanted to document it because I really enjoyed reading that over the couple past couple weeks. So I'm going to talk about more about this spread. So basically, I stuck down this black piece of paper and I just stuck that down so I can have like a fun little background moment of mixture of like white paper and like black paper as well so i stuck that down and basically on the black piece of paper i stuck down like these four pieces of paper and i basically hole punched that with some string with some um like twine and some black grid washi tape and i wrote down some of my favorite poems on that as well as this cute little squirrel postcard i stuck that down to add some like layering because that one part of the page was blank and then I stuck down the receipt slash sticker that's on the book because I got this book from Target. It was 20% off, which was like $9, which is a classic California price for books. Wrote a little bit about my thoughts on the book as well, which was this book is an absolutely is it is an absolute masterpiece. I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, stop thinking about how amazing this book truly is. And I really should get my book right now so I can read you some of my favorite poems because I have lots of my favorite poems in that book. It's like a mixture of poems and just like different little short stories. And basically it's about this cute little character with made out of leaves and sticks. In the deepest, most enchanting part of the forest, a creature hands you a seed. Within the seed is your soul ready to begin to grow. From internally best-selling author Courtney Pepernell comes her book, comes her, from her new book and prose, Watering the Soul. It's true Pepernell style. The book is divided into sections. This guiding, this is guiding you through a step, step-by-step -step recipe to hear your soul, filled with themes that focus on forgiveness, gratitude, togetherness, and equal, equal, equality. Pepernell takes you on a journey of collative, the precious yet profound understanding. That just as a seed is not grown with haste, neither is the path to becoming a whole sort. That in, that in each and every single step, we find the meaning of watering the soul. This story is for your soul and how it can begin to grow again. Wow. I am truly, truly in love with this book. I can't explain that enough. So let me read you the first line. It's in our darkest hour when our soul feels most broken that we are our strongest. For in the moments we feel we cannot go on, we learn we are braver than we ever thought we were. The story of your soul and how and how it can grow again, there was an enchanted forest on our outskirts of a house I once called home. Past the wooden fence, down the little dirt path, deep, deep, deep into the woods, I once found myself, I found, I found myself one day, and here I met a small little creature made of leaves and light of joy. And the creature studied me thoughtfully with a long inhale as though it knew my plight and my long lost tail. Follow me, it said, and together we will plant your soul once more. So deeper into the woods we went, one foot in front of the other, until I planted the tiny seed of my, of, of my soul into the soil and promised, promised, it, and promised it the world in all its color. I promised I would water the seed and, match, and watch it grow. That I would stand beside it, no matter the season, rain or sun or snow. And the creature nodded, a smile upon its face, and said, Remind yourself, to grow one's soul is a journey, not a race. Wow. To grow means to leave much of what we believe to know behind, to move forward despite the darkness ahead, to slow down and breathe through them every moment, to seek new paths, even if we are afraid to, to find balance by embracing the silence to forgive our mistakes and to show our hearts and the others more kindness, to look within the deepest part of ourselves during the longest parts of the night, to search for our own light, to have the courage, to understand that a seed is not, is not grown with haste, nor is becoming whole, that in each and every step we find the meaning of watering the soul, let your journey begin. So yeah, there's different sections. So the first section is slow down, the second section is take a breath. The third section is embrace the silence. The fourth section is over, overcome your fear, forgive your mistakes. 
value solitarily, practice patience and gratitude, choose your kindness, find your find your light. And this book is really short as well. It's only like around 222 pages. So yeah, it's really short. They have like d different little illustrations in between each section. And I'll try to insert an image in this video, but yeah, there's like different fun little images and it's really cute and it gets me really excited to move on to like a new section every time because I always have like a fun little image to look at. And I actually still haven't like finished this book completely. I'm still on page 172 and I still have like 30 pages left. And I can't wait to read the rest of this, but definitely a five star book. And definitely one of my favorite books that I've read this year. I've only read four books this year. I really wanna read some more before the end of the year, which is insane that we're only two months left of 2024 and we're moving on to 2025 which sounds crazy to think about but yeah time just flies and i am very excited to find out what i read next after this poetry book maybe i'll read pillow thoughts by courtney pepperdale courtney pepperdale is actually australian so a stunning stunning australian poetry poet and really love her poetry some of them are kind of like eh and then some of them are wow they really hit hard I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a good day and night. And I'll hopefully see you guys in my next one. Bye.